hey guys, if you're anything like me, you spend loads of time learning licks, but quite often just not actually putting the time or finding a way to get them into your actual improvisations or into your regular playing. So today we're going to look at a quick technique that I use and, and probably should use a lot more, um, which is called crowbarring. So this is a lick that I've been working on for a bit and I've worked on it. It's not perfect, but it's um, it's at a point where I think I should start to sort of crowbar it in. So it goes like this. Pretty close. And I'm going to, uh, hopefully that lick's sort of up on screen somewhere at the moment. Okay, so this is the process. What you've got to do is you've got to get a backing track that's in the key that you're after and then just force that lick in. So we're gonna get a backing track on and I'm going to start to force that lick in. Obviously it's gonna sound a little bit um, rough, but that's the whole point. You've just gotta embrace it feeling a little bit awkward at the start. Okay, so let's do that right now. Woo! Okay, so now I'm gonna have a crack at um, forcing this lick into my repertoire. So I'm just gonna play it over and over again with the backing track. Um, and this backing track's also available. I'll chuck it down in the description, the link to it. It's just a video on this channel. Okay, let's do it. Okay, cool. So once you kind of feel comfortable with it, it's still definitely um, not 100% there for me yet. But when you feel comfortable with it, the next step is to just actually try and put it into, into your improvisation. So it will sound unnatural, it'll be, be awkward, but you just kind of have to embrace that and because uh, it will get more and more um, natural as you go along. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Obviously, it's a really sped up version of what I would normally do. Um, I don't want to make these videos go on forever, um, watching me stumble over a, a lick that I'm trying to crowbar into my style. But um, it's a really good way for you guys to start to get things that you've already learned into your style. Just force them in there, because if you do, you will uh, you'll start to see results. Things will start popping out and you're playing, and that's the really exciting part. So hope you enjoyed that, guys. Anyway, um, we'll catch you next time. Um, see you then, bye.